What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So this is actually another classic heroic gold guide slash leveling spot. I've done a couple of these right now and all of these locations that combine the great XP with the gold while leveling is located in the uh, complete gold guide for classic wow hardcore so if you don't have that already you can check it out with the link in the description and if you use the discount code hardcore you get it for 50 percent off and this feature all the spots from level 1 to 60 that's good for gold making and then of course the best gold farms to do once you reach level 60 now this location right here is uh for people that are like level 30 plus it's located in stv this highest level spot all the way down here by the beach and it's these basilisks and they hyper spawn like absolute crazy like you can see there's a bunch of people grinding these guys i'm running around leeching skinning but that's not where you're going to make the majority of your gold but just to give you guys like a a good sample on how well they spawn you can take a look at this clip and just see the amount of dead mobs that's laying around like they spawn super fast in a very small area as well so uh you don't have to do a lot of movement the mobs are fairly easy to kill they have this one ability that stuns you but you can just walk back like a couple of steps and it won't stun you because you pretty much got to be in melee range like super close melee range to get hit by it so very very good spot and i mentioned that skinning was not the part that was going to make the majority of the gold this is all the raw gold because whenever you skin these guys and you get heavy leather or you get medium leather you're going to want to just vendor that with the current price on classic uh, hardcore it's not worth throwing it up on the auction house but you just want to straight up vendor that but when you kill these mobs you will get a couple of gray items that's really good you might remember from the previous video where we farmed the bristly whisker mainly because that stuff vendors for 7 gold and 33 copper. But these guys, these bad boys right here, they drop the intact basilisk spine that vendors for 3 silver and 20 copper. And then they drop the squishy basilisk guy which vendors for 6 silver and 76 copper. And then they also drop the curved basilisk claw, vendoring for 3 silver and 76 copper. That might not sound like a lot of gold to you guys if you're high level and you have uh, literally hundreds of gold. But while leveling up, that's a pretty good number because they have a way higher drop chance than something like the brisker. Like a way higher drop chance. Uh, and if you're not at the perfect level of these guys like this rogue is at level 33 and the mobs are as high as 35 so killing them super efficiently is not going to be easy for my rogue uh, however there is more basilisks that can drop the exact same item in stv uh, so if you for instance head over to uh these guys uh that's the wrong one these stone maw basilisks right here all the way up north in stv these guys are lower level, like level 31 to 32, and they can drop the uh, the same items easier to kill if you're just hitting level 30. Uh, and then as I showed that, uh, like these guys in Desolus is also level 31, 32, but they're a bit more spread out and they don't hyper spawn anywhere close to as fast as this spot. Like you notice that now while I've been recording the video, just how fast they spawn. And it, these guys are not questing. <laughs> Like, they're doing the exact same grind, they're doing it on a on a priest and a war, and they're just absolutely wrecking these mobs. Hunters do it really efficiently, mages, especially warlocks. It's an extremely good way to make just raw gold, where you don't have to rely on the auction house. And uh, it's a pretty decent XP grind as well, because there's very little downtime, very little movement involved. So uh, yeah, it's become one of my new favorite uh, gold farms to do at this level bracket. As you get higher, there's obviously going to be more interesting uh, combinations of raw gold and XP grinding. But hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, just make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And always feel free to check out the complete uh, classic gold guide for more locations like this one and, of course, higher level farms. With that being said, though, appreciate you guys watching the video as always, and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, 
Have a good one. Bye-bye.